So remember how I told y'all that Charleston White saga this week was gonna get a little more interesting than the than the first video? So Charleston White is currently in beef with Lil Boosie, Lil Boosie's son, T.I. and T.I.'s son King. Charleston White had some disrespectful comments about T.I. and Boosie and both of their sons on YouTube in response to them because they criticized Kanye's White Lives Matter shirt with which Charleston White defended. So he had some dis disrespectful comments for T.I., Boosie, and both their sons. Let's look at it. Look boy, I ain't never been across his goddamn head. Boosie, your boy don't know how to fight. Neither do that T.I. little yellow mother the long hair free. That little mother don't know how to fight either. Look at them y'all babies is rapper babies. Go drop him off over his cousin them how where well, one of them cousins might or not let him eat. And then see if the boy can hold up in Baton Rouge. Right now, look Tootie Raw, you ain't nothing but a little shelter, little ugly ass, little black ass, little boy that look like a pair of patent leather boots. Your daddy look like ostrich boots, and you look like a pair of patent leather boots. Little shiny skin mother boy. So T.I.'s son King had a response to Charleston. Let's look at it. Boy, Charleston White, you was a bitch, boy. That nigga said he was with him. He was with him. Boy, Man, I stayed with my older cousins. Motherfucker with the point of who did what, who, man. We was about to whoop your ass when you come back down here from telling. Yo ass, you had, I can see you had a soft upbringing. Man. So, as y'all heard, King threatened to beat Charleston White's ass, and he also said that Charleston White had a soft upbringing, which is ironic coming from a nigga like King, which is also uh, ironic. You know, this nigga's name is King. He grew up in a mansion. He he lived better than most medieval kings ever lived. He We watched him grow up in a mansion. I saw plenty of episodes of their little reality TV show, dog. I remember seeing him come up living like literal kings. So for him to say someone else had a soft upbringing is hilarious, but we're gonna touch on that in a second. First thing I wanna say is this. As much as I like Charleston White, I'm a big fan. You don't need to attack Lil Boosie's kids or T.I.'s kids to get a point across about how you feel about uh, about Kanye West's White Lives Matter shirt. You don't have to attack Boosie's kids or T.I.'s kids. You can attack the men. You got a problem with Boosie, say something to Boosie. You got a problem with T.I., speak to T.I. But when you bring their kids into it, I don't see how that's I don't see how that's any sort of positive. I don't see how that's bringing any sort of advancement. I don't see how that's doing anything for the community. Now I understand that Charleston White has an issue with these rappers and the imagery that they pushed. All nine yards, I understand, but there's a way to go about it. Everything requires tact. Everything requires proper diplomacy and politics. And this just isn't the way to do it. I just don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think that attacking Boosie and T.I. and their kids, Boosie and T.I.'s kids are the way to go about it. Now, y'all want to go grown man to grown man, mano y mano on the internet, do y'all little thing. But these, 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 this dude's kids, their sons, I just don't see the point. Now, here's what I'll say. A lot of people have an issue with Charleston White because he talks shit on the internet. And then when people threaten his life, he calls the police. I don't know where some of y'all have forgotten this, but you cannot threaten people's lives on the internet and then get away with it. They can call the police on you and get you locked up. It is legal for them to do that. I repeat, do not threaten people's lives over the internet. You can get locked up. It can happen to you. The police can get called on you. You should not be you should not be threatening people over the internet. It's too many people in a comment section talking about, bro, Charleston White always talking shit. And then when them niggas come at him, he called the police. Yeah, it's called your First Amendment right. You can talk shit legally and not be touched physically. It's allowed. You are allowed to do that in very, it, for, for, the, for the most part, you're allowed to do that. There's very rare situations where you're allowed to put your hands on someone because of the words that they said. Very rare. We're talking like N-word. We're talking like really, really rare situations where you can put your hands on somebody for saying something to you. And this ain't one of them. King hopped on the internet threatened Charleston White, and Charleston White reported King to not only the police in Atlanta, but Fannie Willis as well. I just tagged the Atlanta Police Department. Since T.I. son threatened to kick my ass, I'm a senior citizen. That's a threat, and he left me evidence. Not only did I tag the Atlanta Police Department, I tagged Miss Fannie Willis, T.I., I know the same. I know the same police that arrested Young Thug. Hold on, I'm finna call them right now. 
Yeah, I'm finna say, man, you, I'm, I know the same goddamn police officer that arrested young thug that's getting all them niggas Rico charges. How y'all think I was able to get quick flip, you know? No, no, how y'all, I ain't no T.I. in the boxing match. I'm gonna put his son in jail. Fuck, I'm gonna box this man for and I wanna... Jesus, bro. So, <laughs> T.I. had a response to Charleston White. Let's look at it. Man can fix his mother face to talk shit about a mother kid, bro. Use a come deal with the daddy. Come deal with the daddy, man. Now I agree with T.I. I agree with T.I. You know, don't come at the kids. I don't believe in coming at people's kids. I don't. That's a line that I've drawn. Charleston White has crossed that line multiple times, but that's a line that I just don't believe in crossing. I don't believe in coming at a man's kids at all. Not at all. I don't believe in coming at T.I.'s kids in the slightest. I think T.I. is perfectly justified in being angry at Charleston White. I believe that T.I. is perfectly justified in uh, coming at Charleston White the way that he is. But my issue with King is this. King clearly wants to be something that he's not. King clearly wants to be something that he's not. He wants to come across as this tough guy, thug, real nigga, street nigga. And King got to remember this. You can be T.I.'s son all you want, but the rest of the world keeps spinning regardless of who or what you are. There are very few positions in this life where the world stops spinning just for you. And that usually involves the president and their kids. You're T.I.'s son. There's only so far that it is only such a distance that the power of T.I. and the wealth of T.I. can take you. Starting beef and getting into fights and cussing people out and doing this and doing that and all these antics and incidents and saying Charleston White comes from a soft back comes from a soft upbringing. You're not hard. You're not tough. You're not street. Nor should you want to be. There's nothing cool about being street, dog. If it was so cool, your dad would still be involved in it. If it was so amazing, your dad wouldn't have become a full time rapper. He would have been a full time goon. Let's just keep it a stack. If that lifestyle was so lucrative, your father would have never been T.I. He would be an unknown drug dealer street nigga that, that was rich. If if, 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 if if even that. If even that. Right? But let's just play devil's advocate. Rich unknown drug dealer. That would be that would be your family. Why would you want to come from that? Why would you want to be a slum? Why would you want to come from the slums? Why would you want to relate to that? Why would you want anything to do with that? You grew you grew up rich. You grew up well to do. Play your position. Don't give up some shit that you got handed to you. It was handed to you, bro. And it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Being Growing up rich, growing up privileged is nothing to be ashamed of. It shows a certain pedigree and a certain determination and drive in your parents. It says something about T.I. and Tiny that they would work so hard to provide this kind of lifestyle for you. It says a lot about them. That they would provide this kind of lifestyle for you. You shouldn't be ashamed of what you come from. You shouldn't be ashamed of being educated. You shouldn't be ashamed of being upper class, rich, wealthy, whatever you want to call it. You shouldn't be ashamed of coming from that kind of background. There is nothing wrong with coming from the upper echelons of society. As long as you don't flaunt it in people's face, make people feel shitty because they don't come from the same background as you. As long as you wear that position with humility, there's nothing wrong with being from a middle class background. And see, this is that ignorant bullshit mentality that a lot of black people have where you want to belittle a nigga because he don't come from the slums or he don't come from the hood or he don't come from the street. So what? The reality is this. All these people who take so much pride in being street and thug and real, you know what's the first thing they do when they get a whole bunch of money? Move somewhere that ain't street, that ain't thug, and that ain't real. So while they got you sitting there looking up to some shit that they don't want to be around it, they wouldn't have to be around it, they're sitting there trying to scrape whatever dollars they can to go move somewhere the fuck else. If streetness and gangsterness and hoodness and thugness was so goddamn cool thuggery, your dad would have never moved y'all to an upper echelon neighborhood. He would have kept y'all where wherever he grew up at and would have kept you in the slums and kept you in the streets. I don't know who planted this bullshit chip in King's head, and I hope it wasn't T.I., because a lot of black dads do that. 
Oh, you think you you think you this and that because you because you come from this and you come from oh you you don't know you don't know what I went through you don't you don't you don't come from the streets you don't you don't try to put down a kid because he don't know what it's like to come from the motherfucking streets. No other race does this. No other race pedestalizes and prioritizes and honors the underbelly and the worst parts of the culture. You want your son to be a bandit instead of a knight. You want your son to be a thief instead of a scholar. You like, what are we like? This is, I don't know who put this in the brains of these older black people who tell these younger black kids this shit, but it's stupid. King is perfectly fine the way he is. Dog, you grew up rich, you're T.I.'s son, you grew up upper middle class, you grew up wealthy, whatever the case might be. Bro, own that shit. Be proud of the people you come from. Represent them well. When you go out into the streets of Atlanta, treat people with kindness, show honor, show integrity, show humility. Don't show a negative energy because it makes people question your father. When you go outside and you cussing out Waffle House employees and you doing this and you doing that, you make T.I. look crazy. You look your, you make your mama look crazy. You come from a, 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 a upper background. The expectations of you are higher. When you come out of your house, people expect you to behave a certain way. They expect you to, uh, to behave with class, with dignity, with poise, especially with T.I. as your father. They expect you to, to, to carry yourself with some level of intelligence, some level of class. But for some reason, in King's head, being street and being tough is the ideal. It's, it's the ideal when you, you don't come from that. And that's a blessing. That's not something to belittle you over. You come from a good background. Maintain that. Preserve that. Make sure that your bloodline carries on that tradition of, of keeping yourselves in a, in a high place in society for as long as y'all can. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, of being successful as a family, as a bloodline, as a last name, whatever. There's nothing to be ashamed of about that. So this desire to be hard. Oh, I know you had a soft upbringing. King, you had a soft upbringing. You grew up rich. Don't matter how many fights you got in, don't matter how much ignorant shenanigans you got yourself involved in, you grew up soft. You had a good upbringing. Be proud of what you come from. Carry that name with pride. Carry what person you carry the family you come from with pride. Represent that with pride. Represent that with honor. Represent it with class. Represent it with integrity when you go out into the into the streets of, of Atlanta and the world. But instead, we see the opposite because someone somewhere planted in his head that the background he comes from ain't good enough or the background he comes from is soft. Absolutely ridiculous. No other community takes their nobility and shits on them. No other group takes their most educated, their most knowledgeable, their most resourceful, their most everything and shits on them and puts them at the bottom besides us. We take the people in our community with the most knowledge, the most the most resources the most everything and we try to belittle them because they're not from the streets or from the hood instead of saying hey you know what you may not be able to relate to the majority of us but you have something to contribute you have something to offer maybe you've seen things we've never seen before and you can shed light on certain things we've never known before instead we belittle people who come from upper backgrounds for what and it's gotten inside his head as y'all can clearly see unfortunately Hopefully King gets it together and hopefully Charleston White gets it together too. I think both of them are, are wrong in this situation, but I believe T.I.'s anger is justified. I believe that uh, King needs to stop threatening people. He needs to stop trying to play street. He's not street. He's not a thug and there's nothing wrong with not being street or being a thug. Sad state of affairs. It is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.